hi guys welcome back to another video now today we'll be making sweet and sour chicken as the title of the video suggests so without further ado let's get straight into it so we'll be using some red bell peppers yellow bell peppers green bell peppers some carrots and some onion and in a bowl i have some all-purpose flour cornstarch and baking powder chicken breast cut into strips and for the dry seasoning we'll be using some chicken seasoning some garlic powder some onion powder some paprika and some black pepper so in a bowl I'm gonna add the seasoning so guys when you're frying reason why you add the cornstarch and the baking powder is when you're frying the baking powder allows whatever you're frying to be crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and the corn flour makes for a lighter batter so it's not too crunchy and heavy so we're gonna mix these together and also guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend about Toya's kitchen now we're gonna dredge the chicken into the flour Now that's done, it's time for frying. So in a pot, I have some vegetable oil eating up. Now when you're frying, you don't want to use a mild oil for this thing. You want to use an oil that has a high smoke point. You don't want when you fry your food, it tastes like burnt oil. So always use an oil that has a high smoke point like peanut oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, and so forth. Now guys, we're gonna fry these on one side for about three minutes and then flip and fry on the other side for additional three minutes. It's time to give these a flip you want them nice golden brown color Now it's time to remove the first batch from the heat to a paper towel to drain some of the excess grease. Add the second batch and follow the same step. Now that all the chicken is done frying, we're going to remove this pan from the heat and add a second pan. So in the second pan, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil to saute the vegetables. Now 
we're gonna saute our vegetables for about two to three minutes we want them to cook but we don't want them to overcook we want them to still have a little bit of crunch so we're gonna saute these for about two to three minutes We add a little bit of salt to the veggies to give it a boost of flavor. We don't want the bland veggies. Now it's time to add the sweet and sour sauce. Now guys, you could choose any brand of your liking. I just happen to have this one. So any one will work just fine. And to that, I'm gonna add a couple dashes of hot sauce. Now guys, this step is optional, completely optional. But the hot pepper sauce give it an extra kick of flavor. You don't have to put it in there, but really recommend it. Let's have a little thing going on for it. Now it's time to add the chicken back into that sauce. Guys, do you want to mix this and coat all the chicken strips completely? completely covered it in all the sauce. There you have it guys, sweet and sour chicken, my way, all done. Now you could serve this up with whatever side you like, some rice and peas, some mashed potatoes, some white rice, it doesn't matter what you have, you serve it up with your favorite side. Now I'm going to serve this up with some white rice, I'm going to show you how I do so. And here you have it guys, sweet and sour chicken, up and ready, ready to eat. So guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. God bless.